Okay, in order to fix these broken tests here, we need to know about how to modify our database queries. Because all we can do is either get a, a specific element from our database using find, or get all of the elements from a particular model with, using all. Or for, we can get particular ones using first or something. But we haven't seen how to do more robust database queries using Rails. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how, how to do that and I'm going to point to the, the Rails guides, specifically the Active Record Query Interface. This is how we can access our database records using uh, the, the Rails mechanism. And one of the things I want to show you right here is that there are a ton of methods that we can use on any Active Record object. Remember active record is the base class for all of our models. And so we can call all kinds of methods on those to be able to get uh, certain attributes from them. And we're not going to go through every single one of these methods uh, by, by any means. We're just going to uh, skim the surface to, to show how we, we might be able to, to use them. But we, we need to be aware that there are these other ones so that as you try to get more complicated database queries, you can look at this um, documentation and, and find what you're looking for. And so in, in order to, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the, the Rails console and be, before we do any development in our, our code here. And we need to figure out what uh, query we, we want to provide. And so right now what we're doing is we're doing ride.all. And you can see that that gives us a listing of, of all of our rides here. And we have kind of our traditional SQL select from. We don't have a where clause here, but we, we can do that um, by changing to the where. And we could say something like uh, where the um, number of seats is, um, or let, let's do something like, uh, yeah, the number of seats is uh, seven. And now we get our full select from where clause in here. And so w the that that where was right in here. So it's an example of one of the methods that that we can t access. What we're specifically looking for for our solution is we want to have it in a particular order. So instead of doing where, we're going to do order and we want to order it by um, say our date. So that's easy we can order it by date and it's going to take our select from and it's going to add this clause here order by rides date ascending and so we can see our first ride right here is uh, <coughs> date is the 26th our next ride date is the 26th our next ride date is the uh, 2nd of October and our, our final ride right here is the 2nd of October. But if we go back to uh, what we did when we did ride.all, we didn't get that same ordering. Our first date was the 26th, like before, but our second date was the 2nd. Back to the 26th and back to the 2nd. So that ordering changed the, the order of our rides. And so is exactly what we're going to want to be able to, to use in our index page to, to be able to do that. And so in uh, our app views, our app controllers, rides, right now we're doing rides equals ride.all. And so we want to be able to do ride.order by date. 
and and so w we want to be able to change this to order by date and if we do this change right here we should be able to pass our our date test and so we run it and it still fails and what you should quickly see this is the text of our database and it was looking for for this text right here is that we were never displaying our date on our rides page so let's go quickly to our um, views rides and let's just add that in real quick so now we're going to include the date of our ride and so this is ride date the reason why the other tests passed previously is because we didn't populate that with our, our factory girl and that was probably the bigger mistake so now if we run our test and include the date in our output we're going to expect to to pass because we do order them and that's great now the one that we're not passing is when we order our things by service and that's going to take a little bit more work because now if we go to our controllers and we can't switch this to by service because oh, then we lose the date and so we're going to have to next look at how we can get the information from our query parameter to know what our ordering is and uh, how, how to create that properly.